an outlaw. But I don't want to see the safety of our country jeopardized. What do you mean? Those men who were holding you were... If they have escaped, we'll never find them in this storm. Look, there's a light. They take the weapons in that house. I'll investigate. You stay with the car. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, your impersonator would have signed away your rights to Aluminum Products Company and possibly endangered the country. Whoever you are, I owe you my life. All right, Hornets. You've interfered for the last time. Are you all right? How did you get here? I followed in your car. I found it at the house from which you took the girl. Good work. You saved my life. Who are you? Your life was in no danger. Those men were using you to gain control of the aluminum products company. So that's why they were holding me. Yes, and you played right into their hands when you allowed another girl to impersonate you. I see that now. But tell me, what should I do now? Your company produces aluminum, a most essential metal. You must allow the control of the company to remain on the present board of directors. They are responsible, patriotic men interested in the welfare of our country. Why, well, I, I never even thought of changing control. Good. Don't let anyone persuade you to do so. You can depend on that. Not after what I've gone through. Another thing. Don't tell the press anything that has happened since you returned from Europe. I certainly shan't. And forget you ever met me. And now, Miss Grayson, we will take you home. I'm glad you escaped, but we'll miss Audison. It doesn't mention the Green Hornet or the Grayson girl. I'd like to know what happened to them. Yes? Put him on. Yes, Oliver, what is it? Oh, she is, eh? All right, you get back here as soon as you can. Salter reports that the Grayson girl is back in her own home. Take her there, of course, for the Green Hornet who wants a couple of millions. It's uncanny the way he senses our plans and disrupts them. He's outsmarted us at every turn. And there's no excuse for it. We have unlimited resources, a hired army of fighters, and yet single-handed, the Green Hornet's too much for us. He sure messed up our aluminum products deal. Not altogether. I'm working on another angle to get control of that company. What is it? Striking at them through Home Electric company from which they buy their power. I get it. Without light and power, they're licked. Send Franks in. Franks has been making an undercover investigation of Home Electric for me. Hello, Tower. Hi. What have you accomplished? Well, for one thing, I found that the franchise Home Electric has been operating under for years has a trick clause in it. What is it? If Home Electric fails to serve power for a period of 24 hours, the franchise is null and void. 24 hours. It shouldn't be difficult to put them out of business for that long. Then our triple state electric company can take over the franchise. Right. And after that happens, the service we furnish aluminum products won't do them any good. What else did you find out? Found a guard at the plant by the name of DeLuca. I know his record and I got plenty on him. He'll do anything we want, and quite reasonably. Contact DeLuca at once. Locate a reliable man who understands electricity and can handle explosives. We'll close out Home Electric immediately. I'm telling you, Reed, this trouble they're having at the Home Electric plant is the work of foreign agents. I think you're right, Michael. We've already published rumors to that effect. What more can we do? People wake up and realize what's going on all around them. It'll take more than rumors to wake up people, won't it, Case? It certainly will. To most people, sabotage is just something they read about in the paper. And do nothing about it until it lands with a wallop. Michael, dig up the facts in the Home Electric case and we'll print them. Sure, and I've been after trying to dig them up. But this President Marsden of Home Electric is just a big puttin. Says I to him, put one good Irish cop like myself in your plant, and he'll round up them foreign agents in no time. Did he offer you the job? He did not. He ordered me out of his office. <laughs> yes, I know. He called me about it. He's on his way over here now. Boss, I got the lowdown on that blackout the Home Electric plant last night. All right, let's have it. Three emergency switches were pulled, and the overload burned out a thousand feet of cable into a whole flock of pole transformers. I thought those switches were kept locked. They are, but somebody fouled the lock. Did the home electric people make any statement? No, not even after I told them that the stockholders were complaining to our paper. I'm here to see Mr. Reed. What name, please? Mr. Marsden. Yes, Case? Mr. Marsden is here. Send him in. Okay, boys.
by accident. How do you do? I'll show you in. Thank you. Won't you sit down? Thank you. What do you think you're doing, Larry? Oh, I just want to hear what Marsden had to say about man of action here. Well, it won't be good. Gossy. Mr. Marsden, I judge by our phone conversation that you think the trouble you've been having is sabotage caused by foreign agents. I certainly do. We're supplying power to many important industries. Yes, I know. One very important industry, the Aluminum Products Company. Uh, why do you especially mention that company? Well, in these days, aluminum is a very important product. You're right. Have there been any former attempts at sabotage at your plant? Yes, several, but uh, none have done any damage until recently. Have you considered the vulnerability of your big dam up the river? Why, that's a massive structure. And couldn't be damaged except by an enormous amount of explosives. But if the water gates were closed, and the motor which controlled them disabled, then the plant would have to close. So that's the weak spot. I beg your pardon? I was just thinking aloud. Thinking of what a prolonged blackout would mean to the essential industries you're serving with power. I'd like to have a look around your plant up at the dam, if I may. Why, I'd be glad to have you. Then you can satisfy those stockholders who've been complaining to you. You won't print anything about that Watergate control. Oh, that's off the record. Good. I'll write you out a pass. Will you make it for two, please? I'd like to take one of my reporters with me. All right. Know anything about this country, Lowry? Yeah, I've been over it lots of times. You know, work for the Sutton, see the world. Deserted, isn't it? Yeah, anything could happen around here without attracting attention. Rick Reed and one of his reporters. Get after him. Hey, Lowry. The car that we just passed a little while ago is turned around and is following us. Yeah, so it is. You got a gun? No, have you? Well, respectable people don't carry guns. Yeah, well, right now, I'd rather be less respectable and have a faster car. This thing go any faster than this? I hope so. They're getting away. I'll try for their tires. Evidently, those two are back there are not so respectable. Dust us out. What do we do? Keep after him. I can't see a thing. Stay on the road, can't you? Yeah. Come on, it's right around that curve. Ah, oh, we've lost it. We might as well turn around. Are you Milton, the chief guard? Yes, Mr. Reed. What can I do for you? I'm interested in seeing the place from which the water gates are controlled. Take these gentlemen to the gate control house. I'll phone Jenkins to show them around. This way? Jennings, I'd like to know about the water gate control. This is the motor that opens and shuts the gate. Huh? And this is the control switch. I see. Well, now, if the gate were closed and the motor disabled, could the gate be opened again? Not unless the motor was repaired or a new one installed. What's this big board for? It's an extra board for emergency use. It carries a full load like the one in the powerhouse below. Do you think there are enough men around here to guard the place properly? Sure. All good boys. Besides, we've got an alarm to the police station up the river. I see. Well, thanks a lot, Jennings. You're welcome, Mr. Reed. Come on, Larry. Get your fingers out of the electricity. See what you wanted to? Yes, thank you. Have you hired any more guards lately since you've been having trouble? No need to. My men are all good guards. Besides, I have more at the upper gate. Oh, boys, meet Mr. Reed at the central. Hello. Glad to meet you, Mr. Reed. 
Well, your face looks familiar. A lot of people tell me that. I guess it's because I got such a funny pan. His name's DeLuca. DeLuca. No, I don't remember the name. Well, Milton, you've got things under control here. I'll tell your boss. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Much obliged to you. You know, Larry, I think I've seen that guard DeLuca somewhere before. And under circumstances, not to his credit. Why don't you tell the chief guard? Well, I'm not sure. I don't want to cause an innocent man to lose his job. Triple State ready to apply for that franchise, Lynch. We're putting Home Electric out of business. That's right. Yes? It's Tower Chief with the man I told you about. Come in. Here's the reliable man you wanted who knows how to handle explosives. You vouch for him? I sure do. Show the Chief your credentials. Fourteen. That's right. I wasn't burned up in that ship fire as everybody thought. I wouldn't have known you. That's why I figured he'd come in handy. The Green Hornet won't know him either. All I ask is another crack at that guy. You had your chance on that boat. He jumped me, but I had him halfway over the deck rail. What happened? The last I remember was his gas gun. Then I came to in a hospital on the waterfront. He got in touch with me last night. Your recovery is very timely. Get set for tonight. With that guard DeLuca has fixed to let us in, we can't miss. It's lucky Axford's out tonight. Otherwise, he'd be curious to know why I'm going through his rose gallery. Yes, sir. Mr. Axford is very fond of asking questions. Not so fond of some of the answers he gets. Hmm. My hunch was right. The Luca does have a criminal record. A string of aliases as long as your arm. Look at this. Larceny, grand and petty. Arson. Hmm. Here it is. He was mixed up in that tunnel job last year. He didn't recognize you, Mr. Britt? No, when we met in the tunnel, I was the Green Hornet. Take that back to Axford's room and get ready to travel. Travel? Yes, we've got to get that information to Milton, the chief guard, at once. And Mr. DeLuca is going to have a visit from the Green Hornet. <laughs> the lights. We'll have to trust the luck to stay on the road. They're shooting. Do you think we are too late? Probably to warn the chief guard, but not too late to deal with the looker. Light them off, boys. Ryan's turning in the alarm. The alarm wire's been cut. A big hunk taken out. It can't be spliced. Chance, Martin. Keep him busy on this side. DeLuca will let me in through the other gate, then I'll take care of the control house. If I'm not back in five minutes, check on me. All right. Their main attack seems to be the powerhouse, and I'm sure their chief objective is the gate control. What can we do? You can get to the telephone and call the nearest police. But you. I hope to have my job finished by the time the police arrive. Close the water gate, then fix the motor so the gate can't be opened again. Right. This is the motor. Here's the switch that controls it. All right, good. All right, start the motor and close the gate. Hold it. The green hornet. So you're up to your old tricks, I do, Luger. But this time you're not going to get away with it. <laughs>
Dean ought to be back. You better send Joe to check on him. What are you going to do? What you came here to do. What do you mean? Destroy that motor and cut the city off from power and light. See where that fuse goes? I put your explosives in there. We got to get out of here. We'll be blown to bits. Who sent you here? Whose idea was it? Step on that fuse. Put it out. I will when you tell me what I want to know. Pull out that fuse and I'll tell you. You'll tell me first. The Green Hornet. He's got me. <laughs> Timber will break the door down. Okay. Your friends can't help you now. Tell me who your boss is. I don't know. I was hired by a man I never saw before. Stop lying. 